Hi everyone, welcome to Live in Life. My name is Victoria, this is my wife Regina. And today, today. We are, please subscribe to this channel, thank you so very much. And today we're having those are chicken ties with uh, chickpeas in a uh, Indian uh, style sauce with coconut milk and uh, butter chicken paste. I'm using this pre-made paste already of spices that I buy and that's amazing. This is uh, tomatoes, <laughs> green onion, red wine vinegar. This one I'm using, one of my favorite vinegars and olive oil salt, that's it, pretty basic tomato salad. This is eggplants. Those are uh, their uh, marinated eggplants from Ken. Ken is from Turkey, <laughs> the country. <laughs> and it's one of our favorites. So if you can get it, try it. And we have walnut puffs. Walnut puffs, walnut puffs. This is a um, macaroon type of cookie, but it, it's, it's, not, it's not done with... Um, Gluten -free. Almond? Almond? Yes, it's with it's done with walnuts, which are amazing. And you know, my favorite nut is walnut, and I can't stand macaroons. If you ask me what another thing that I can't stand, it's macaroons. Because they made with uh, almonds. I love almonds only as in, in a nut form and not in a flower. Like, it's not true. In the flower, I can use it in savory things, but I, can, I don't like the sweet almond. And a little correction. I'm your favorite nut. Totally. Well, that's our number two. Well, maybe three. Yeah, there's oh, maybe four. Two, <laughs> there's two nuts in my house that I pretty much love and adore. Thank you. Oops. Whoops. I did made it. Yeah. Made it. This is beautiful. And you see, you have actually whole slices of eggplants. Eggplants and pepper, and one usually one to two slices of peppers there. Tomato base and oh, spices, yeah. and a pepper. really nice. And this is, as you see, like, I, thought, I think that you already saw the that chicken. chicken. Oh, yeah. Chickpeas are amazing, and chicken. It's really nice. Pretty, uh -huh. insta, pretty insta perfect. And it's awesome. And it's flying. Sometimes it's just flying chicken. So, yeah. Often than not. That. It's very nice. Give me, please, a, um, my photo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing for Instagram, so please follow us on Instagram. We're doing lots of uh, videos and uh, lots of uh, photos, and Instagram slowly but surely becomes my favorite medium because it's visual, it's less, uh, yeah, less word based, which I totally love. As a dyslexic, especially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is yummy. I know. I know. I tried a little bit of chickpeas before. Mm. It was really nice. Thanks, Han. Even Ariel ate um, a little bit of chickpeas before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple and delicious. Good. I really love the idea of chickpeas. You know what? I did it before a long time ago, and we go through phases as most of the people, and we really love chickpeas everywhere. And then we got tired, I think, and uh, we stopped. I stopped adding it to soups and stews and all of this. But I think that's enough time <laughs> passed that I'm starting to do it again. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very much so. Mm. I love the chicken. I love the Indian touch to it. I know. 
it's like it's uh, our favorite, new favorite, uh, new favorite, it's not new favorite. I'm putting this paste everywhere. Yeah, I know. Everyone remembers, I'm not sure you remember, but um, Frank's hot sauce. Hot sauce. Frank's Frank hot sauce. I put this beep on everything. Yep. Mm. Oh, good. I really love the Indian touch. Like, seriously, I did not expect that. And there's coconut milk too. Mm. It's coconut milk. Um, I think I need to bring you to just to show because I know I will get tons and tons of um, questions. What I, what I, oh, I don't have uh, the packaging now. I don't think I have packaging of this paste. Okay. Oh, the Indian, the curry mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Is it like a butter chicken paste mm -hmm. that you can buy and to make your own butter chicken at home? Mm -hmm. It's Indian butter chicken paste, and um, I think there are a couple of brands, few brands doing those uh, mixes. Comes in those packages, mm -hmm. skinny ones, just a little sleeve in there mm -hmm. with the paste. Yeah, but very responsible, very recycle the package. Mm -hmm. I have the paste, I don't have the packaging anymore. But yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Simply delicious. I know. I know it's like so easy. Those those flavoring brings so much flavor, and I tried actually. We tried from <laughs> we tried from them only butter chicken. I think I need to try the other flavoring. In the past, we did the one with the eggplant as well. I'm not sure if it's the same brand or no. the other one. No, eggplant is not flavoring. It's already food. It was already pre cooked. And this one meal. is just flavoring. And this is just uh, 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 spice. Yeah, basically. But they have another um, spice blend like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will try it one day. And I really, really, really need shopping. Mm. We do. Need grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Oh well. I love the chicken. And those eggplants are phenomenal. You know what? We go camping, we bring them. We go picnic, we bring them. We're in we go for the, the lake, we bring it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You know what it's really good with? Boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. Hard boiled eggs. It's amazing. If you bring your cooler, bring your hard boiled eggs and open this one and eat it together, phenomenal. And the day of the lake, it gives you lots of proteins, gives you lots of, you know, mm -hmm. deliciousness. It's amazing. It's like a full meal. And it's so easy. Mm -hmm. And it's good ingredients, so. And anyway, I don't remember that my mom ever brought cooler for uh, boiling eggs. I know you should. I'm just saying. We do. We do. With um, frozen elements. Yeah, the small one, the lunch pack. Mm -hmm. But the big one. It depends for how long. Depends for long. the amount of vegetables that we always have. Vegetables are the best. We love veggies. 
If you don't notice. If you haven't, yeah, you didn't know. Like, I think, yeah. I'm really not big fruit girl. Though, we like, collect like berries here and there, but we love watermelon. I know. We need to check out if there is watermelon uh, watermelons out. We're talking about organic ones. Mm -hmm. The regular ones are out. Oh yeah. Mm. But as with everything, organic produce takes longer to show up Most. than the conventional one. Most, Most of the time. This is totally my favorite. Okay, story time. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, three years ago, three years ago now, we went to a road trip, huge road trip to United States. We did something like 7,000 kilometers. Oh, that was an awesome trip. Mm -hmm. You want salad? No, salad thank you. Okay. Can I eat from here? For so sure. much easier. With a spoon. And somewhere in Oregon, Oregon coast it was, or already um, in California. And so I would bet it was California. I bet at some point of California. Yeah. It was California. Not in, not in California. It was California. We went and there were a um, Persian family actually that uh, made this new new product and they wanted to you know to share this product in the California Costco itself. It was in Costco. And in Costco inside. And there were actually themselves who invented this. Um, it was some, I don't know, happening and there were different um, stages. It was the best experience in Costco ever. To mention no. that it was phenomenal Costco and you know the samples we mentioned that in the past long time ago the samples flowing. in Canada you get tiny samples and they you know and if you attempt to get another one you get the nasty look like really because you know they give you so small sometimes you don't even taste how it tastes and then um, in there they were huge like the samples were humongous and they were so nice and you continue the story just to give you a little background yeah um, they did two uh, three products rice spiced rice persian spiced rice oh my god it was one of the best that i've ever tried and it was already pre-cooked which was awesome because we were um, we went to um, to disney disneyland and we and we lived outside of the disneyland and we had small refrigerator so it was awesome because i could just uh, put it in microwave and heat it and those eggplants and uh, those eggplants and I think they did something with um, butternut squash or something and squash. Squash was nice. I didn't. We didn't buy them, but the eggplants and the rice. I remember it was one of the best ever and, experiences. And there were also um, meatballs. Meatballs was, was in the Oregon. Same time? No, okay. meatballs for confused. sure was meatballs for sure was in Oregon. Am I confused? But uh, we bought at the same time they had already peeled hard boiled or eggs and they were organic and we're like yeah We know we know first world, you know problem problems, but it was awesome It was so convenient because you know what we didn't have a um, Any kitchen in there. We stayed right outside of uh, Disneyland within walking distance to get inside Disneyland and we had a little fridge Which was totally convenient to have you know all this awesome food already mm -hmm. and you don't have to cook or do anything it was brilliant it was brilliant so it was all packaged and it was all you know vacuum sealed and it was pretty long shelf life which was awesome but ingredients was amazing and the flavor was so authentic and actually i was talking to those it was like father i think two brothers and um i don't know their family there cousins maybe and i was talking to the guys and said and they they explain me how they make it and how, how much love goes into those products and how they package it. Oh, they were and, awesome. And they were so excited that we took two boxes and two boxes, you know, at Costco. Costco, it's two boxes, it means like four boxes of um, those eggplants. I think we took four, f cheers, four or something. And they were so excited to explain and then the spices and the blend and, and that the blend is from their... Um, mom obviously or grandmother and this like secret blend uh, like spice blend and uh, whatnot it was amazing 
And the funny part is because, um, you know, driving in California is sometimes a little bit too much. A lot too and much. And the traffic is like, OMG. And all those bridges, like, whew. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, we were driving and it was like, okay, I opened the first eggplant package. Oh, and, I op and I opened the package of the egg and I was giving, okay. We we're like starving, but we we're like, had to really get to our destination, you know, get moving. Because, you know. It's not just the only thing we bought in Costco. We obviously spend there a little bit of time and, you know, you're in between places and you're really trying to get there in own time. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're eating. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, Ariel, Ariel took, I think, egg or something and berries. And um, he was eating behind. And oh, they had such a good berries. California has the best raspberries. Love those raspberries. Love them. Well, California, California, especially if you come in season, and it was June, I think. End of June we started. We've been it was there. beginning of July. Beginning of July, yeah, somewhere. We started our journey. Yeah, beginning of July somewhere. And it was all the, you know, berries still out. And it was um, apricot season. And it was, like, it was so amazing. Oh my God. And the fruits, you know, not until they reach us often enough, mm -hmm. you know, they're not so... They kind of greenish come to us and then it's not exactly the same there the raspberries were the best and they're just huge raspberries i love those raspberries oh man oh it was so good i think california raspberries are my top raspberries you love california no. i love california raspberries. I love, on the other hand i love canadian i know they're tiny and they're squished i like them a bit firm but in my case i know the flavor is the best i know i, I love them northern i don't know why but northern raspberries or at least our, I'm not sure if, like, I know that sometimes you can find even wild raspberries here. And I love those the best. The thing is that they are very, very delicate and they are not proper for transportation mm -hmm. purposes. Mm -hmm. So um, if you go, like, you pick and etc., you basically, and you pick, you eat and you go. Like, you, you can't really transport. We tried. They get squished instantly, like, instantly. They just don't hold it. Mm. And California ones hold But the flavor is The flavor is there. great. But they squish. So unless you really pick them and eat them, if you buy them, they're just squished and it's just not the same. Totally, totally. It's like a mush. Like a smoothie. <laughs> By the way, this is one of my favorite cookies. Just, just saying, FYI. Thank you. This is a good cookie. It's a good, it's like, yeah. It's, it's even like gluten-free. Walnut macaroons, which... They're cute. You know me and walnuts are very oh. much mm. in love. Mm. And I need to make something at home than this. Well, I don't need that many sweets. So we kind of should. Mm. I always tell you I'll help you baking, but we don't need that many sweets in order to mm. get to that point. Mm. And this is pretty good. I can buy this once in a while. And we're busy enough. <laughs> yeah, I prefer. I, I always prefer to cook. No, thank you. One I'm, more. No, oh. no, 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 no. It has your name. It's okay. Thank you. I'll, okay, I'll leave you the one with your name. I'll eat this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. So those are amazing. I'm full. Yeah, so if you can find those, I think those are lo local bakeries. Must be. I never, I never. Funny all, enough, all we bought them in the T and T. Burn the Asian BBC. supermarket. Yeah, Burn the BBC. And this is Nassim cookies. And I, I, I imagine they have more line of uh, cookies. More they have other that. cookies. They have other. Just one of the things that was there and you love the walnuts idea. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, well, and I love when it's, when it's local to, you know, to invest in local products. And this is totally made locally. So it's yay to this. So yeah, I think we'll finish for today. And um, thank you so very much for being with us. And don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up, us and cheers. Live in life. Go towards your joy and do, do something, something fun, fun every, every day. day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We are super excited to announce the opening of our merch shop. Go check our Go Towards Your Joy mugs and t-shirts. And you know, we all like rainbow unicorns. Show it some love.